somewhat unscathed. You know, you're going to have some kind of some sort of fucking stories, man. Uh, I love it. That's and awesome. it, was, it was a great time. It was a great time to be there. And it was a lot of fun. And we'll tell stories on one of these podcasts again. It'll be cool. I'm looking at our ticker and it says live. Did we just go live again? What happened? What's going on here? I hope we didn't miss that whole what? segment. Come on, man. No. No? No. It's saying Fa 30 seconds. Facebook was having an issue here, giving me like uh, messages saying they couldn't go live. They couldn't go live. And I was troubleshooting and troubleshooting, and now it seems to have clicked back on. But did we miss that whole first segment? I'm going to have to check that for you. Mm. I hope not. I, I hope not, too, because that was fun. We have to do it all over again, guys. Okay, start at the beginning. <laughs> Roll tape. Dave, Dave, jump off camera real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, that's funny. Uh, uh, my buddy Rob, Rob Finkelman, Rob Finkelman was trying to get on, and he was saying, yeah, it says it's coming on in a minute, and then he stopped. He stopped. Uh, Son of a gun. That's my bad. So I thought maybe we were on. I don't know what happened here, guys. I'm so sorry. So what's happening? Do we need to start over? I feel bad now. Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, keep it going. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If we didn't go live on Facebook, we went live on YouTube, right? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's so we, fine. Have, okay. we have it on YouTube. So if anybody on Facebook is actually joining us now, if you're still there and have been waiting, our sincerest apologies uh, technical difficulties. It happens. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit happens when you party naked, and uh, <laughs> we're, we're going live. So it is what it is. But the whole show is on YouTube. So when you're done watching the last half of the show, you can go back to YouTube and watch the first half. So yeah, and it's uh, Hollywood Tales live on YouTube. Please subscribe, share, and watch. Yes, share um, please, and watch. And share and watch. So all right. So we won't go back to what we talked about because it's on YouTube and. We're saved there. It was just uh, Facebook we had difficulties with. Um, all right, so to catch us up with the uh, topic at hand, um, Dave, what's your best Hollywood tale? Uh, so uh, my best Hollywood tale would have to be uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give a I'll give a little Stanley Cup story. Um, yeah. So uh, we're at my house. Well, it all the whole night started off um, at my at uh, we're at my house. And uh, it's myself, Adam Burrish, and Ben Eager. And um, at the start, uh, after we won the cup, um, our GM and our president said, guys, don't take the Stanley Cup down to Wrigleyville. And we're like, why the fuck not? Like, Wrigleyville will be pumping, it'll be hopping, like, there'll be fucking shit going on there. Like, we gotta go to Wrigleyville. Right. So us three were like, we're like, ah, oh, fuck it, we're taking it to Wrigleyville. <laughs> so we, so we take it to the bleachers. Uh, we take it to the, uh, you know, the buildings that had the bleachers on the back there, not inside. Yep. Yeah, 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 they're so awesome. I, I got to meet one of the, 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 the owners there. I was like, hey man, we're coming by with the cup. He goes, he goes, perfect. We're having a big party here. Come on by. So we take the cup on. We go to the top of the roof. There might be pictures of it actually on, uh, on the internet. Um, <laughs> Wrigley Wrigleyville. Yeah, Wrigleyville, uh, Wrigleyville Cup. Um, Dave Bolin or Adam Birch or Ben Eager. Um, but uh, so we we go to the top of the bleachers. The Cubs game's going on. And it's when the Cubs weren't doing too great. Uh, so we're hoisting the cup, and everybody from the stadium is looking back and seeing <laughs> us. They're not, they're not even watching the game. And then not even five, ten minutes later, the game's done. All the fans come out, and the place, and like the, the whole uh, street in front of it was packed, like packed. So I had to call my cop buddy. I was like, "Hey, man, like you gotta get down here and get us out of here. Like, there's people everywhere. We can't, we can't, we can't move. Like, it was crammed. It was incredible how, like, incredible just how much it turned and boom, like it was all back. Like, it's just people everywhere. So we're pretty gunned, pretty juiced. We hop in the cop car. He drives us to our to my place just down the road. Uh, we've got a bunch of us there. We're all having a good time partying. Uh, I think it was my buddy eager. He, uh, he has the cup. Uh, he steps over, over the fire and trips and the throws the cup and the cup gets lodged between my house and my neighbor's <laughs> house. Oh yeah. So the cup is like, and Ahmed, I, I think you've been to my house there and yeah. 
like it's a row house and it goes up 60 feet and we're all yeah. at the top and uh <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What a picture. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. That is so, uh, so, fantastic. So the cup gets lodged uh, in between my house and my neighbor's house. So the cup keeper is a buddy of mine, and he's like, oh, shit. And we have to hold him by the legs. So we're like, fuck, we drop him. <laughs> this guy's dead. Like, <laughs> we can't fucking drop this guy. And the cup's lodged like in, in between the house. So we got him by the legs and he pulls the cup up. We pull him up, grab it. The cup's dented. It's like pulled across. Like it's oh. crazy. So we got a, we got pliers. We're bending it back. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was hilarious. It was a fun time. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh yeah. You, yeah. you had to, you had to reconstruct the Stanley cup. It was like, like just the cup <laughs> part was bent. It, it wasn't a lot that needed to be done, but it had to be like, we had pliers and we were pulling it back. Oh, Dave, yeah. is, is the cup all kind of kinds of I mean, like beat up a little bit from story? I mean, it, I guarantee you, this is not the first story. That no, this, this isn't good. the first story. No, no, no. This <laughs> but they have they've got two cups, so they have one cup that that, that goes out with you guys and, and, and sees everybody, and there's the other correct. Cup and then they have the other the good cup that like the, the shiny one that doesn't get dented and doesn't gotcha. get. I think I've actually heard Who's, that. I think I actually yeah, knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you have cups. like so, like the wife and the side chick, basically. Oh yeah, 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 basically. yeah right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, that what are you is talking about? crazy. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's a great yeah. story. It's very yeah, cool. So it was uh, it was fun. There's some great times. We had some good times with it. But uh, Chicago is always a great great place to be, and like for hockey and the fans. And uh, I always my heart's always in Chicago. It's a cool how did you town. how did you meet Vince Chicago. Vaughn? Uh, so Vince, uh, it was going through. Um, so it was when he was filming the dilemma. Uh, so it was him and Burn and all that. Uh, they were all Kevin hanging James. out there. Yeah, Kevin James um, and uh, one of our PR guys. It was just me that stayed in Chicago that year, and one of the PR guys goes, uh, "Vince Vaughn's here filming a movie. Uh, do you want to go meet him?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I was like, "Saw old school when I was younger." Hell of a movie, swingers, uh, everything. I was like, I'd love to meet him. So I went, met him. We all hung out. Um, and then uh, they, were, they were all going out that one night after the dilemma. Uh, I think one of the nights. And we got bombed. I think we got back to Vince's place. We were drinking. And from there, it clicked. And uh, been great friends ever since. And uh, I got to meet you, Ahmed. Got to meet a lot of other good people out of it in LA. So uh, I, that's one uh, thing that I did cherish was, was meeting great people when I was living in Chicago. I can imagine. Did you meet uh, Michael Jordan ever? I actually, I did. Um, I got, uh, Oh, did I, he I meet you? To... I guess. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually after one, there was one time, here's another story. Um, this guy, a, a, a buddy that I used to, we used to see out at the clubs and that, uh, he was like, Hey man, uh, what are you doing? I'm like nothing. I got myself and, five buddies here from Toronto. Um, uh, he's like, you want to come, you want to come to Michael Jordan's house? I was like, what? He goes, yeah. Do you want to come? I was like, oh, hundred percent. I was like, yeah. I'd love to come. Cool. So we, we, I pile everybody up in the car. We go to Michael Jordan's place, met him, got to see his crib, got to see the other thing goes on. It was pretty cool. So it, it was a cool moment. How is, uh, how's Jordan? Is he, he's, he's really cool, right? Yeah, really nice guy. Really nice guy. That one time, that, that was the one time I met him. But uh, I've, I've always heard, yeah. and, I always heard he was a very classy yeah, guy. Yeah, just a class very, guy. guy. Like, yeah, great guy, great person. Nice. Have you guys seen The Last Dance? Yeah, I have not. Not yet. I hear it's amazing. I want to watch it. Uh, it's yeah, great. I mean, it's yeah, great. it's. Uh, I watched it twice. You know, it's funny because um, a lot of his teammates kind of came forward and didn't have great things to say about him as a teammate because he was so hard on his, uh, on his team. He would always, yeah. you know, not ridicule them, but he would just competitor. He was a competitor and he also had, you know, the weight of the team on his shoulders to, to win a championship. So a lot of the players were like, yeah, he was kind of an asshole, but you know, we got whatever six a ring out of it. Yeah. We got six yeah. rings out of it. So I guess sometimes, you know, it's a trade-off. the territory. Yeah, it's a trade-off. Yeah. 100%. It's yeah. like working with a director who might be a jerk, but say, hey, it's a great movie, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got verbally abused. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, everybody likes the movie. <laughs> uh, is it is it okay to to say to tell everybody like you have a you have a daughter uh, Lincoln, beautiful young yeah. daughter, and then you have another one on the way. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, I have a, uh, yeah, so I have a little girl with with her mother uh, that uh, they live in Toronto, and then uh, myself and my fiance um, we're having a little baby boy, so. Awesome. Uh, I'm excited, so it's gonna uh, it's gonna be great. So I'm excited. Thanks, guys. Is, is, That's fantastic, brother. Congratulations. Is, is he gonna be a hockey player? Probably, probably, <laughs> probably. He'll be he'll be in skates right when he's uh, born, probably. Right away. <laughs> I love it. How are your parents, by the way? I met them. They were super cool. Yeah, they're great. They live remember in we hung out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all hung out. I remember that. So uh, they're super living nice. in Toronto. Yeah. So my parents came over from Scotland when I was. Probably just before I was born, and um, they immigrated from Scotland and kind of got acclimated to North America, Canada, uh, and they stayed and never went back. So that's right. Good I thing forgot. they did. You're the, you're the Scottish for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haggis. I, for, I forgot. Every man died. Yeah. Every man really lives. <laughs> Me and Braveheart. Chopped heart, long in a sheep's bladder. <laughs> <laughs> just as good as it sounds. That's right. Um, <laughs> I worked I, I work, I work with an actor one time that said he was like a descendant of William Wallace. I'm not sure if that was true, but that's going back way back. Gotcha. Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh yeah, he's like my great 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 cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a stretch, but <laughs> that is, that is, yeah. <laughs> he's a, uh, yeah, Sebastian Roche. I said, Roche is his name, so I don't know. We gotta look it up. He said, "What?" He was like dead set on it. He's like, "No, no, it's." Uh... Bro, that's like me saying uh, I'm related to King Tut. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh no, we're, uh, we're we're you know late, 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 late. late. Yeah, somebody <laughs> is related to King Tut, so it could. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I know I'm not. I'm, I'm pretty not. sure I'm not. I don't even care. <laughs> uh, what's, uh, so what's next for you, man? What's what's happening? Uh, you're, uh, play, you're, you're playing golf. You got a kid on the way. Playing a lot of golf. Got a kid on the way. Um, nothing yet. Just living the retired life. Just uh, hanging out. That's and you're a young it. guy. You're what are you? Four, 37, 39, 40. How old are you? 35, 34. 35, retired. 30, 30, 35. You're 34 years old. Freedom, freedom 34. Freedom 34. Nice. That's, a, that's a great, 34 is a great number and a great age yeah. to be at, but it's yeah. it's so cool that you still have a whole nother lifetime in front of you. You can do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, I do. I do. So uh, so right now it's just uh, enjoying life. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to do something. I don't know yet, but uh, I'll figure it out. And uh, whatever comes along the way, I'll, uh, I'll take you back and uh, get on it. Come to Hollywood, baby. Be an actor. Hey, you know, Vince, Vince keeps, Vince, when we were down last, Vince is like, oh, there's great places here in, uh, down by the beach. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. That, yeah, that Manhattan, one's for sale. I was Manhattan like, oh. Beach. Yeah. So yeah, you never Manhattan's know. Beautiful. You, you know, I, I, I love LA. LA is great. And, uh, but you never know. I could always, could always get that chance. So nice. Well, come, come back to LA, buddy. And hey, uh, I'll be coming back there. for sure once all this COVID's done. So. And how's that affecting you guys up in uh, Canada? How's the whole COVID, you know? Uh, actually, we're uh, like in Canada. I think we we had it, but we didn't have it as bad as the states. Uh, where I'm living in London, Ontario, I think we only had 15 cases. Wow, that's that's, awesome. that's, 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 that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. So we kept it pretty. Uh, everything went on lockdown for that little bit of time, and it uh, it didn't really uh, didn't really. Cat, like everybody did their did their thing, washed their hands, stayed in, didn't do so. Everybody wore their them. mask. They wore their mask right away yeah, and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was uh, it, it was pretty locked down, and everybody listened, and it, it was it did. You showed the numbers, and you you saw what it was. So it, yeah, uh, I, it was good. I, I heard there were no deaths like yesterday or something. Yeah, nothing. Guys, guys, like, we're still having guys, thousands. Yeah, yeah. So we haven't had a death in a few months now. Wow, that's that's yeah. great. We didn't have any deaths. Yeah. Oh no, wait, we have 196 thousand <laughs> people. Dead. Yeah, yeah. My mistake. Sorry. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Don't fake, talk fake news. Fake news. So hey, fake fake climate, numbers. global warming. It's going to get cooler. Fake numbers. I know all yeah. about numbers. Ooh, it's going to cool off. 
Yeah. Are we just anything talking about? Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna cool off. It's gonna cool yeah, off. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, cool yeah. off. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't listen. Don't listen to science. They're, they're <laughs> tremendous people. They're incredible staff. My face yeah. is gonna get cool. lighter. How about that fucking guy, huh? What a character, oh, anyway. Yeah, and I, I, he's entertaining. Yeah, yeah. He's some. He's some. <sighs> no well, care. um, he changes the mood, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta, I gotta hit this now. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. What is that? What you got there? Fight. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought you, I I thought you didn't smoke. Is that Canadian? This is not. Can, I don't think it's Canadian. <laughs> oh, it might be Canadian. Uh, I I, I quit drinking. I off the sauce for a while. I oh, really? Okay. Take a hit of this here and there to kind of you know stop the voices in my head and um, yeah. and it the helps. Demons. The demons. I got demons, bro. You have demons. no idea. Oh my own. I think we all do. Yeah, I'm that, sure we you do. Know, that, that, that's another question I wanted to ask you, Dave. Uh, and not to disclose any hockey, like dirty secrets, whatever, but you, you would say, like, probably what 50, 60, 70% of hockey players smoke weed, take, you know, painkillers, drink. I mean, is it a pretty, you know, active kind of sport when it comes to alternative? You know, Drug use. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know about a lot of the other. Like, I used to smoke weed. I used to like after games is like they, they'd normally give you uh, sleeping pills because after games you'd be so hopped up, uh, your adrenaline's just like it's pumping so much. And after a game to cool down is is one of the hardest things. Like, mm. like <laughs> you'd be popping sleepers, uh, and you get addicted to sleepers, and those things are the, probably the worst things to to get addicted to um but uh but I, some, sometimes after games when i go home i would smoke a little bit of weed and it would calm me down and relax me and i'd get a good night's sleep i might eat a whole pizza but uh, but, <laughs> but, uh yeah yeah i'm telling but, you man uh, i'm sleeping but, through the night i never sleep through the night it's great oh no, yeah like 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 i always just just take a little bit and uh it, it would calm me down and it would like it would, i'd be relaxed and like the sleepers were like they're great, like if you want to like pass sleep. out and uh, sleep. But, like, yeah, right. You want to go into a coma. But like, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. But uh, yeah, those things are. I always, I, I never really liked the sleepers. I felt they're you, they're so easy to get addicted like, to, and you can just like boom. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, awful. Yeah, I, what you uh, and you were saying like a lot of guys that get off the ice and like you know you pay, you're beat up and aches and pains and all kinds of stuff and. And I know that I mean I mean I have I'm not a hockey player, but I've had motorcycle accidents and all kinds of shit like that. So I'm always in pain. Yeah. I'm beat to hell, and uh, and I don't like taking pain pills. I don't like taking pain meds. I don't. It, I, it's not my thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Buff it at, and I'm like, it kind of helps. It, it just just like you were saying, it's like kind of brings yeah. you down a little bit, chill out, relax. It's yeah. like it takes a little bit of the pressure away. Yeah. Dave, do you remember uh, one night in Chicago, we were all hanging out, we were drinking and whatever, drinking, smoking, blah, blah, blah. And we were we were hungry and we went through a McDonald's drive through Yeah, yeah. And you ordered, and I've never seen anybody do this, you ordered, I swear to God, probably 60 or $70 worth of McDonald's. Which, oh, yeah, which at that time, it was we had like six bags worth of food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there was like four of us. Yeah, yeah, I remember go up to. I used to go like we go to Burger King. I just, I'd, I'd tell them I get, I'd, I'd go up to Burger King or wherever. I'd be like, just get me one of everything. And the lady's like, what? <laughs> and it's just me that pulls up, but I get like one of everything. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hilarious. When I was, uh, when when they were doing, when they were recording <clears throat> the spaghetti incident, and um, uh. Axel called me at one point when I was working. Axel Rose, let me just get that. Let me get that. Oh, I didn't have that. Get, get, that get, get that name you just I picked up. I just got it. Just it. it. <laughs> we, had always, we had always said that we would we would sing a certain a, a specific song, a fear song. When they got, well, dude, you're big. We're gonna sing this fucking song. Yeah, fuck you. It's gonna be fucking great. Yeah. So, uh, cut to about six years later, five six years later, and they're huge. And I get a call at this Harley shop that I was working at. And they say, hey, it's Axel. And I pick up the phone. He goes, you want to sing? We're doing the song tonight. So I said, sure. So I went to the studio with my buddy. And we're hanging out. And, and we're there for a few hours. And while we're there, one of the guys comes over. He goes, hey, we're going to go to Taco Bell. Do you want some food? 
And we were like, yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. He's like, what do you want? I'm, I'm like, whatever. Just, you know, a couple tacos, whatever. He's like, cool. So we're there about a half hour later. The guy comes over and we're talking and he's he taps on the shoulder. And he's like, food is it's in the kitchen. If you go around here, it'll be in there. So we get up, we go to the kitchen and <clears throat> we walked in and lit. I, I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. There was a sort of an empty space in the kitchen and it looked like they got like maybe six or eight big cardboard boxes full of Taco Bell and just gently dumped it on the floor. So against the wall for maybe three and a half or four feet up on the wall coming down was this pile, this four foot pile of oh, no. various Taco Bell <laughs> Taco bags everywhere. Oh. And was kind of like, day. that's all I could think was like, what, what, what did you just say? Like, give me like 10 of everything. Cause it was <laughs> a fucking pile of food, man. And when you said that, remark, <laughs> Kevin, sorry. Anyway, I, I digress it. by all means, uh, as you were, sorry. Uh, two, three, three quick questions. Yeah. F- favorite music. Favorite music. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into everything. Uh, alternative rap country, um, rock. Uh, I kind of, I kind of dabble in everything. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. And I asked that question because I was listening to Howard Stern today, and I don't know how it came up, but I guess he had dinner with Jimmy Fallon one night, and Jimmy Fallon has this worthless talent that he uh, has where he can <laughs> he can look at somebody and tell if they love ketchup or mustard. No way. And it's like he's never – lost like he'll literally look at you and go oh you like ketchup oh you like mustard and i thought it was just like a random talent to have it's also kind of random it's also a worthless, worthless. talent yeah yeah um, well I don't, maybe you could tap into that and maybe make a little <laughs> i don't know <laughs> no nah, mine, mine mine would be like tequila or whiskey you know? there you go <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's uh what are you watching on netflix right now what's your favorite show um Dude, I, we we crush a lot of TV. Um, Everything, right? Yeah, uh, we just you guys watch that show, not Netflix, but uh, Power. Yeah, I yeah I know the show. Yeah, I haven't watched it, but yeah, I know the that's show. I, yeah, that's that. I, we just we finished it. And now we're on to the the new season. I'm gonna drop one. I was on Power. You might have seen me on that thing. You were on the <laughs> show, Adrian. Right. Yeah. Which one? I, I was in. I was episode one of season five. I was uh, the Sergeant Isiano who questions uh, Angela when she's on the roof. And then she's like going to the memory. <laughs> and I call her, like, hey, Angela Valdez, can I talk to you for a minute? And then we're talking on the steps. And then she goes into the elevator. And then she uh, goes, no way. Yeah. And the, 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 when they introduced the new cop, uh, the, the Latina. I remember. OK, good to know. Uh, yeah. my, ha- my hair was short. And, and I had a, uh, what you call it? I had a uh, uh, mustache. I had a killer mustache. What's it? She compared me. She compared me to uh, was it the Smokey and the Bandit? What's his name? Burt Reynolds. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Puerto Rican Burt Reynolds mustache. <laughs> That's too funny. I love it, Sergeant. Love it. Isiano, it Sergeant Isiano. Adrian fucking rules. I'm gonna man. go back and watch it. Yeah, yeah. Make me a couple of bucks. I think they gave me a dollar. <laughs> 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 uh, anybody watching Cobra Kai on Netflix? I started. <clears throat> I started too. I liked it. I I, I hear it's the new, so bad new season. Good. Right, the new season is awesome. It's so bad that it's good. Oh yeah, I haven't started it. Oh bro, you'll love it. You know who's in it? Brett Ernst. You know Brett Ernst, the comedian. Oh yeah, yeah. We, yeah I remember we were hanging out. With he, yeah, he yeah. he plays Ralph Macchio's cousin who works at the car dealership. But really, like Goomba, Italian, like you gotta, yeah, f- yeah. gotta fuck those people up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> gonna fuck them, you know. It's 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 a it's a it's a good show because it's just it's so funny. It's not very well produced, but and it looks like it's shot on a like an iPhone. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, but it's good. Keep an eye on it. It's funny. Yeah. Cobra Kai, Brett Ernst, check them out. Um, Cobra Kai. Um, <laughs> Dave, any I told a- 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 Eric, Eric, Adrian, any any last uh, questions, comments, concerns? Concerns. You gotta you gotta come back, man. It was great to have you. Uh, yeah, wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Right. And, and just to, just to, to go back real quick, the, uh, the Sedin brothers, the interview you gave and you was like, <laughs> yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll always be sisters. I picture them sleeping in bunk beds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the that bunk one was, bed that, line, that, dude, killed me. Yeah. That one came back. I, I remember we, we used to go and do, um, these interviews out at, uh, out at bars in, uh, in around, uh, Illinois, uh, just outside downtown. And, um, like every like because it was so heated between us and Vancouver, and uh, I would always they'd always be like so the Vancouver and the, the twins and about and we used to chirp and be like fuck Vancouver Vancouver this Vancouver that. <clears throat> so one night we were doing one at Harry Carey's and a fan stepped up and said, "What do you think about Vancouver and the Sedins?" And I forgot it was aired, and boom! Next morning I step up, there's shit all over my Twitter. Everything's going off. They're like, what'd you say? I was like, what? I was like, fuck. I, just, <laughs> I blacked out. I thought we were just, everybody was at the, everybody uh, at the bar and it was, wasn't aired. And oh, yeah, it was on TSN, ESPN. And oh, so yeah, next are, are you guys, are you guys still like, so once it's all said and done and that's all over, and now today, since you got, you guys played against each other all the time and you were kind of like rivals, are you guys? Still rivals? Do you talk? Are you cool, or is it just like no? Like, I've never met them. I've never met them. I've never met them outside of hockey. Uh, gotcha. I've seen them, like, but uh, like they're great guys and they're great hockey players. Um, players yeah. yeah, like and most of the, most of like most hockey players, you'd fight with a guy, and next the, the day after, you'd be having a beer with him, basically. So <laughs> yeah, that's kind of yeah, that's, that's kind of the that's figure, kind of way the hockey figure, players. That's yeah. the hockey world. Yeah, yeah, the hockey way. Gonna, yeah, so the so way I, of the stick. I don't, I don't know if this yeah. is a sensitive subject, but any concussions, like, uh, and uh, you were pretty safe with that, no? No, no, no. I probably had about five, six concussions. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I remember, I remember, I remember one time I got hit pretty hard. Um, I think we were playing Tampa, and uh, the whole play was going on in one zone, and I was just skating around in the other zone. Like, <laughs> oh, I was wow. just, I was out to lunch, went in, did the whole protocol, and. I remember I the one time I just started breaking down crying. I was like, "What the fuck's wrong with me? I never cry." <laughs> like, so, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wow, like, man. those things had, are like, rough. Those things oh, are yeah, rough. Like broken fingers, half the teeth missing, stitches mm -hmm. all around the eyes, stitches all around the face, and stitches. Uh, of hockey players, bro. It's man, they do. It's all about the scars. Awesome. That's right. That's right. Scars we, here. Right. You were talking about Twitter right. and you know social media. I follow you obviously on social media and Twitter. And when I read your feeds, sometimes uh, it's not often, but every once in a while, somebody will will take a shot at you or hate on you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. you don't you're not quiet about it. You you come right back and let people know what the fuck is up. Oh fuck yeah! Like if someone wants to chirp me and they don't want to say it to my face, they want to say it over Twitter. So I remember one guy. <laughs> I remember one guy's like, one guy was like, he's like, yeah, he's like, who bowling? He's like, um, he was like, he's like, yeah, he's probably working at a Dairy Queen serving ice cream cones to someone. Yeah. I came back, and, I came back, and I said, I said, who the, I was like, who the fuck are you? I was like, I'll buy you a fucking Dairy Queen, and you can fucking work <laughs> there and eat all the ice cream you want, you fat fuck or something like that. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of went off, but. <laughs> No, I re I actually respect that because yeah, a lot of, a lot of people aren't it's like when I first when I was doing stand up comedy and social media and YouTube and you know people started hating and commenting and bashing on me, I used to fight back all the time. I used to comment back, "Who the fuck are you?" and you don't know any better. And then it just it became very time consuming to to fight all those battles, but. Sometimes yeah. you got to fight those battles and you got to let people know what the fuck is up when you have a voice. Yeah. Yeah. So like, so I, I don't, I don't sit on it all day and do that. Like if some guy wants to, wants to hear a licking from me, then, uh, then I'll <laughs> throw it out there. But <laughs> oh yeah. Once in a while I'll, I'll, I'll send my piece. Nice. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people on Twitter who've never been punched in the face. That's why they, uh, oh, 100%. Yeah. unbelievable, yeah, 100%. unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. I've been punched in the face, FYI. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've been yeah. punched in the face many, many times. I've punched I think a few people. Have. I've punched a few people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We've been punched in the face before, so it's all good. <laughs> I haven't been punched in the face yet today. Yet. Not today, yeah. yeah. <laughs> any, uh, any, <clears throat> any last questions before we wrap up or anybody want to come in or plug anything? 
Uh, Bolin, anything you want to? No, I just want to say thanks for thanks for having me. This is awesome. I had a great time. Uh, it's it a awesome. pleasure. Uh, it's our, our, it was great our, talking our to you guys. It was it was it was a blast. So uh, next time you guys need someone to come on, I'm always here. Oh, Dave, awesome. it was awesome to have you, man. Really come back good to on meet anytime, you. Dave. Thank Love you for being here. here. Thanks, bro. thanks for very your time. very cool, man. Thanks, fellas. Thank you wow. again. Thanks. Love you, Dave. Thanks. Later, okay. brother. Thanks, guys. Dave Boland, everybody. Woo. Two times he Stanley Cup. Be cool. He's bro. He's the coolest, and I, 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 I like to surround myself around, you know, people that just show humility and are just humble. And he's he's one of those guys. You know, Victor Ortiz and yeah. Bassem Youssef and all the people we've had on so far, they're just you know really uh, you know down for the cause. And yeah. it's not easy to start a podcast and to get people to carve out. 15, 20, 30 minutes of their time. So no, thank you, Dave. Uh, it's, it's thank a, you, Dave Boland. Cool. Follow him at uh, at Dave Boland. Two time Stanley Cup winner. This is episode eight of Hollywood Tales. Adrian Alvarado, Eric Mills. Uh, anything else you guys want to throw out there before we? Amen. 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 Well, well, Amen. Amen. Up in the house. There. I'm all turning around. We got. There we you. got your. We got your. Uh, we got your truck stop coming up. Oh, yeah. So I'm doing an uh, outdoor COVID-safe live uh, comedy show, socially distanced, masks required, uh, temperature taken at the door. Uh, it's in a <laughs> lo location in West Los Angeles. Um, go, to, go to Eventbrite and type in what you see right there. That's right. Thank you, Adrian. The Truck Stop Comedy Show on Eventbrite. It's 20 bucks to watch the show live. And you can also watch it on Zoom for 10 bucks. And it's an awesome Ooh. lineup. Lineup, Myself, Ian Bagg, Adam Hunter, Manny Maldonado, Crystal Marie Denha, Jason you, Rogers, and Jason uh, Collins. You know, with, show. with um, that sounds like an awesome show, man. It's a great lineup. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I wish I could be there. Um, uh, you should have Maldonado at the front door with like a thing of Vaseline and like a, a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take the store <laughs> and they're going to dip it in like a big glob of Vaseline being like, bang. Welcome. <laughs> uh, good to see gonna, you guys. Uh, 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 this was good. I needed that. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, we're going to come back either Thursday or Friday live. Um, and uh, check out, check out Adrian here at Comics Roadhouse, Mohegan Sun, October 8th at 10 p.m. Yep. Uh, Adrian is an actor, comic, producer, and uh, check him out. This is episode eight of Hollywood Tales, Los Angeles, Philly, New York. Word, and, word. Um, and I got this guy here. Let me just show you what's happening right no, here in my life. Up, he snuck up behind you. Look at him. Hey, this guy. There he is. <laughs> what's going what's on? on? Look at him. This uh, guy's he's he's getting famous on social media. That's, that guy's that's, a star, man. That's that's, that's that my face. guy. With that face. He doesn't have a face for radio. All well, right, boys. Um, listen, um, the, I apologize this, for those technical difficult difficulties. You know, we're still becoming a better producer here. And uh, no but worries, it was, no it worries. Was a great show. It's all good. It's on YouTube. It was a great show. Good. Dave Boland was a great guest. And um, yes, thank you again, oh, Dave Boland. And uh, if you missed the live broadcast, go to YouTube. Uh, maybe you can type Thanks, that sir. in uh, YouTube uh, Hollywood Tales Live, Adrian. Yeah. We're on YouTube. We've uh, we're banging out episode after episode. Coming up this week and next week, Sadie Murray, social media influencer and morning television talk show host, and um, Naz Nakat, I think is how you say her last name. She's a uh, right, yeah. costume designer and stylist for the stars. So, awesome. Um, hope you guys are all healthy and safe. Uh, practice social distancing. Wear a mask. Get tested. Be kind to everybody. And you know what? The best thing you can wear every day is a smile. <laughs> I love you guys. Right, love you guys too, man. Peace and love. Be love safe. Back, brother. Thank you guys. Hollywood Tales is out. <laughs>